Irregular Nation. Yeah, we got some new Superman set photos. And maybe everybody can stop bitching. Yeah, right, like that's gonna happen. Hold on. Take a look at that. Look at that costume. To me, looks fantastic. Trunks, belt, and we're gonna see that he's got the, he's got the Superman symbol on the back. Uh! I mean, yeah, of course, nerd out. Why not? All right, looking at that. Seriously, what could be your problem now? The lining, in my mind, it looks good. The collar that everybody was like, oh, it's the collar. It's the collar. Why is there little ripples here? Like, seriously? Really? This looks good. This is a set photo, okay? You gotta like the vibrant colors, okay? The hair looks good. The man looks jacked. Everybody's like, he looks too small. Uh, no. And look, the, the last photo that they, the first photo that they gave, Yes, a little too artistic. You're trying to tell a story in that photo. I get it. But you have to remember the audience in which you're talking to when you do release those things. So to not be excited seeing that, look, you got to like where the cape placement is. All right. There's some nerd talk right there. Cape placement. Listen to me where it goes on the shoulders. Come on now. But that looks good. Everything looks good to me. Now, I know there's going to be those nitpickers out there that are gonna say, oh, you know, it's still a little loose here. It's a uniform. You can't sit with skin tight crap. Try sitting in leather pants, right? What happened with Ross, Kelsey? It didn't work out well for him, did it? <laughs> anyway, let's go to a couple of the other photos and we're gonna end with this photo because I love this photo the best. I think it, it just looks great. Anyway, pause. Now, yo. There's a lot of other photos that have been released. I'm just going to pick a few. And, of course, we got Mr. Terrific. Um, yeah. He looks good, too. He looks just like his comic, his comic accurate, you know, look that he has to have. So everybody's always obsessed with that stuff. So there you go when it comes to that. But this shot right here looks good. How do you not like the vibrant colors? And you know they're going to render some stuff anyway. I mean, my God. I don't know. I haven't really watched it. I haven't actually, I can't even say I haven't really, I haven't watched anybody's reviews on this because I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't. I just am going to give my opinion because I liked when I saw the first shot um, and now you're seeing this. So now in my mind, these shots are just basically telling all the people like, all right, here you go. You don't look jacked. It don't look good. Yes, it does. Next. Now, of course, there's other things going on in the background. Okay, there, like I said, we're gonna get a shot where you can see the back of the cape. And then some people that might say like, oh, he looks slim right there. Dude, the guy's 6'4 and he's jacked up. He's a mythical hero. I still think, and I'm gonna move my head right there, the collar looks good. And then you can see that yellow symbol. We're gonna get another shot. You can see the side shot. The lighting doesn't look bad in my mind. Yo, hair on point, let's go. I like the aesthetics of what we see. I think James Gunn already knows how to write and tell a story, so we're not, we don't have to worry about that, and he knows how to direct. So, yo, oh, I think we're in some good hands right here. Good hands, not with Allstate. I'm talking about right now with Gunn and what he's gonna do. And I'm not a shill, and I'm not someone that gets paid to say this. I'm just saying this in general because I've seen some of the man's movies. Come on. Hello. Here's a shot of Mr. Terrific. Side eyeing. I'm gonna side eye you back there, buddy. Looks good. I mean, we got him in the Arrowverse, and you know, it, it's not a hard cosplay, really. It really is not a hard cosplay. But he looks good. And then you're gonna see a shot of him standing next to uh, Superman in a, just a second. So hold on. Hey, how you guys doing? Everybody like that yellow symbol? Yeah, you know what they're looking at? They're looking at me and my giant head, yes. And that nice hair we got going on. Oh yeah, I got that Superman hair, don't you think? Or more Jimmy Neutron. Brain blast! Anyway, going back to uh, what I was saying, love the yellow symbol on there. Love that they're, ex you know, that they're exploring. We gotta like the fact that the universe is already going on. All the heroes exist, this, that, the other. I mean, can't wait. Honestly, 
the more you're gonna see from this movie, I think the more excited everybody's gonna get. Yes, you had the naysayers with the first shot of the, you know, the, the costume, but it was more about what was going on, I feel. You know, I know everybody was, you know, saying, you know, the costume didn't look good, this, that, the other, the VFX, this, that, the other. I was like, oh my God, damn, damn. I can't give nobody nothing. Anyway, let's go back to that last photo and we're gonna close this out. Okay, like I was saying, this was my favorite shot. It gives you the best look of how it is. You gotta like where the cape is, like where the collar is, like where, like the S, like the belt, like the shorts. He just looks good. So, I mean, honestly, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but I don't know how you don't like it. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, don't forget everybody to come take a ride on the irregular side all the time with this guy, because why wouldn't you want to? Hmm. And anyway, all right, I'll see everybody later. Cheers.